Wow, look at how nasty it is. I got mud. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Daniel the Big O. All about that fishing family and fun. I'm out here at Nolan, Nolan Lake here in Kentucky. You see where I just came from, paying my ramp fee. Make sure you do that when you're out at the lake. Pay those ramp fee. It helps support the lake and everything. I'm telling you, today's going to be a great day. We're going to go out. We're going to scan some fish, um, do a lot of graphing. It's winter time, so you're definitely, definitely going to have to graph, okay? So that's one big thing when you're out, out there. Make sure you're graphing, all right? Um, find the fish and they'll be you'll see them once you find the fish stick in that area and uh try to get them to bite if not move on to another area where the fish are okay so after you found that area where those fish are slow down okay slow down it's winter time fish are lethargic do what you need to do to slow down and uh that means jerk bait longer pauses rattle trap get them maybe a little closer to the bottom um slow slow rolling carolina rigs uh um you name it just slow down okay slow down all right so another big key thing is the drawdown on the lakes here in kentucky make sure that um you're very careful on where you're at and you have good mapping systems um, a lot of lakes in the country they draw those lakes down you know five ten feet stuff like that for winter pool and preparation for spring but here in Kentucky, um, Nolan Lake, it's about 20 feet. They draw it down and the uh, lake right next to it, Rough River, it's about 20, 27, I believe, feet that they draw it down. It is crazy. I'm going to show you a quick little image before we get out on the water and launch this ramp. I'm going to show you an image what a little bit of what that drawdown looks like right about now. You see how steep that bank is right there quite a bit that water should be all up in those trees yeah at the bottom of them right there roads all the way in the back side of it it's crazy let's get out there guys this is a prime example of why you come out during the winter time look at the stumps you find out here oh I gotta love it so if you want to dial in transitions see that's a gravel bank see a hard chunky bank can find them in winter time. Look at that over there. Find those good brush piles. See ladies and gentlemen, water's pretty cold, fishing deep, but there's some activity. That's that's what we like. Finding the activity, finding the fish. A simple point. Fishing a little deep. The closer we get, the bigger, bigger that ball gets. Gotta love it so cold out here but i got me a nice fish right there nice one look look how white he is still deep here on nolan um if you see this bank i think i figured him out today on that jerk mate all right ladies and gentlemen you wouldn't believe what just happened i went all the way in the back of a creek and normally there's a couple feet of water for me to run run the boat in but uh nope i had it stuck for about 30 minutes doing everything i could the boat is completely muddy there's mud all over this boat right now but uh i did get the boat out um uh my pee hole in the motor uh wasn't peeing um I, uh, my alarm went off uh got a toothpick pushed it in nothing um called over a boat that was driving by they had a long piece of wire that was just enough that was just big enough to poke all the way in there and uh started back up and it was paying and it was paying good so ran around the lake for about 20 30 minutes just to make sure the motor was good and everything's all good so let's get back at them and let's fish some more also forgot to tell you that um I got one in the box. I got I got one decent largemouth, and I also got one big crappie. So uh, we'll definitely show you guys here in just one second, right about now. Hey, that bass was pretty good for this time of year on a Nolan Lake, and that crappie was huge, wasn't it? Oh man, let's get back at him and fish this channel swing. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get back at them.
So, starting off with the jerk bait right now. Yes, the water is pretty dirty for a jerk bait. But that's, <laughs> I fished for two days already. And that was the only good bite I've had is on a jerk bait. This time of year, the, the cadence is very, very key. Once you find that good cadence, stick with that cadence. Fish in this channel swing, then we'll move on to the next spot. See, normally that water is all the way up here, guys. Find that one little area right here, and then we'll, uh, this one area, let me turn you guys right about. Oh, come on, turn. Camera turn. There we go. A little bit better. These fish are suspended. why I'm fishing like this. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, just missed one, I think. Or it was a rock. <laughs> This is shallow enough to throw that.
All right, off to the next spot. All righty, see you there. All right, spot number two. Gotta love it when you forget your sunglasses. Ladies and gentlemen, whenever you come to a little drain or a little waterfall, make sure you throw a bottom bait. Throw it all the way up there and slow roll it all the way out. Sometimes the fish will be nose up onto that little waterfall or that inlet where that water's coming. And they're just waiting for something to come on out of it. Anything that comes out of that waterfall. It's like a buffet for them, you know? Man, no fish in that waterfall or this little brush pile. Make sure you're covering water, cover water, cover water. Can't stress that enough.
All right, I'm a big motor on over this little point real quick, guys. Yes, I have a trolling motor. Water is a little bit cleaner in this creek. Earlier when we were throwing, man, it was dirty. Come on, fishy, fishy. I need another bite. Hey guys, if you made it this far in the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up, like and subscribe, okay? My channel's all about fishing, family, and fun. Well, you'll get tournaments, fishing videos, tournament videos, fishing videos, cheerleading videos, sports videos, and a lot of fun from myself and my family. Keep seeing a big old ball of shad and some bass underneath the boat. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that drop shot up on them. You know what I mean? Throw that drop shot on them.
What I got tied on right now on this drop shot is a quarter ounce weight, trapper tackle drop shot hook, nose hooked on a fluke. These bass aren't active so definitely time to move on that's one thing that I uh, I do in the winter time is I move quite a bit I don't want to mess around with fish that aren't active so um, let's move to the next spot let's have fun fishing no land I love it oh wow it was a crazy crazy day you see how muddy that boat is right there man this boat is seriously muddy all over. I, that was the first time I've ever gotten it stuck. Any boat stuck or been in a boat that's been stuck. <laughs> um, I'm glad I got it out safe. I'm glad that there was that one guy who helped me out to give me that one piece of wire that was flexible enough to fit in the pee hole so it could keep peeing. I'm glad there's no damage anywhere. Um, just an extremely dirty boat back there. Carpet's dirty. I mean, I got mud all the way up on the front deck, but I'm, I'm very grateful that the boat's safe and it's still working and I'm safe and it was a great day fishing. Um, let's show you some more pictures. This, right, we'll, we'll, we'll get a zoom in up on this nasty boat real quick. All right, right about now. Wow, look at how nasty it is. I got mud everywhere. You, you name it, I got mud on it. All the way up here, look at that. Oh, I, I had a heyday with mud. Yeah, I got to fix my council there. Yep. See, I actually have it down in there, but I'm mounting a new hummingbird right there. So, but anyways, it's dirty, dirty. Man. Well, like I said, it was a great day fishing. I am glad that you all were able to join me. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for family, fun, and fishing. But let's do it in the right order. It's all about that fishing, family, and fun. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Many more videos coming right at you. Till next time, you know who this is. This is Daniel the Big O. Sorry about the barking dog. It is what it is. Y'all have a good one. Out, out.